In this video, we're going to focus on how we can start at a different position in a line chart. As you can see here, we have these two charts here, or these two data sets here. And they're starting, one starts here halfway through, and the other one starts here as well. And so having some additional white space here. So let's start to explore how to do this. So let's start to look how to create a line chart with different starting point in chart chairs. So the first thing what we need to do here is, of course, to get our default code here. So we go to chartjs3.com, getting started. And this link you can also find in the description box. Scroll down here and just copy this entire chunk of code here. Copy this. And if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video here that explains it all. So I'm going to paste this all in there. And once I did that, I'll cut out the title at the very top and put that in there. Save this. Refresh and there we are. So now we have a bar chart and what we really want is basically a line chart similar to this So as you can see here, this is a quite big one, but what is very important here is specifically this We have this line here. It will start at this point here Which is a specific date and then it ends midway, but we can just say at this specific date probably this is a time Depending on the time here. So what I really want to do here and that's the core focus is we have here the starting point there will be the ending point or somewhere here and then after that we will pick up with another data set here so let's start to work on doing this because the default structure in charge has the line will always start at the beginning so let's start to convert this first into a line chart let's remove all excess colors so i'm going to remove these colors here and then what i will say here this will be a line chart save that refresh so now we have one line and what I want to do is I want to basically copy this data set here, or we can do this later on because we need to do some adjustments here. So what I want to do here first is if we look very carefully here, we have the dates at the bottom. So that would indicate that we would have here what we call a date adapter, or we need to use the date or the time object. So we're going to use the date adapter. So go to charges.org ecosystem, and then scroll down here. You can see here the adapters, select on that, and then you have three options here. Do not use the moment because this one has been deprecated and it's not being updated anymore. If you want, I, I personally prefer this one if I don't need to do anything because date FNS tend to be harder for me to use. Luxon is easier to use but requires two JavaScript files. So if you don't do anything except adding a specific file, go for date FNS in my opinion because you only need one file. If you don't do anything in this locks on, you need two files. So just reduce that by making it easier by using date FNS. So I'm going to click on date FNS, scroll down here, and then you can see here this specific JavaScript file I'll need, and that is the chart.js adapter date FNS bundle. Copy that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll up here, just put it below the JavaScript library. So that needs to load first, and afterwards the adapter, which is uh, dependent on whatever variables are in the chart.js file so if i save this refresh nothing happens yet but now we can start to work on adding here the date or the time object so what we're going to do now is just to activate that we're going to scroll down the bottom here i'm going to say here on the x-axis because it will be here these labels will be replaced with dates and then i'm going to say here type which would indicate the type of chart and then we're going to say here time comma and then what I want to do here is besides the type, I will say here time, because now we have assigned this object so we can use that. Then in here, I'm just going to say here the unit and the unit will be day, just to make it easy. Comma here, save that, refresh. So what happens now, of course it breaks. Why? Because we don't have anything here that looks like a date. So I'm going to comment this out because I will not do it even here. I want to put it in this item here or in the data set specific. Why? Because you'll see here, if you look here, let's zoom in here, you can see this data set is specifically triggered on February 2, 5, or sorry, uh, February 4, 5, and again 5 here and 6. Probably here these are different hours, but anyway, we'll say 4, 5, 6, and 7. Let's do March. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say here. On the x value, and I'm make sure we have these curly braces. This is like an array, and then we're going to say x value, and this will be 2022. And this is, of course, a string value 0, 3 from March 0, 01. And then you have the i value, let's make this 3. 
Then I will copy this. I'll just duplicate this multiple times. Oh, and what I want to do is this comma. So I'm going to just copy this, put it in here, let's say four times. That will be more than sufficient. And then what I want to do here, make sure we have the bracket here. Why? Because we have these brackets here as an array. So we need to close this properly. And here I'll just say this is three, this is four, or I'll make it six, nine, three. That's all right. We have here one, two, three. Four. So if I save this now and refresh, you can see here this works. But still, you might say, hold on, we're still at the very beginning. All right, don't worry, we're going to work on that. So the next thing what I want to do is, I want to copy this and just put another item in here. And this one will basically pick up where we left off here. But of course, different values here. So you can see here one is the active solution or non-active, and this is an active solution, and this is percentage. Of course, here in this case, I have maybe sales, doesn't matter. Anything else you want to do here, sales and costs, for example, doesn't matter. So we're going to say here, this will be six, this will be nine, this will be 12, and this will be six. So if I do this, and then here, we start at four, five, six, and seven. There we are, and this will be cost, I'll give this a different color. Put in here, zero, 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 save that. Refresh. All right, so now we have these two colors here. It's being shown, but there's one issue here. And the issue is we're still not here. We have one midway, but the other one here not. So how do we solve this? And how can we solve this here as well? Well, basically, you could say, well, we can just add up more labels here, but I don't recommend that. I want the labels out of it. So what we're going to do in here, we're going to say here on the x-axis, put a comma here, we're going to indicate a min value. So the minimum value, instead of March 1, I want, for example, 20, uh, well, we can say here, 22 February, for example. So we say 2022, February 22, comma, and then I want a max value, and the max value would be whatever this value is, let's say here 7, so we make this 10 March. So I say here, 3, and this will be 10 March. If I save this now and refresh, so, all right, uh, min, of course, that is not what I want, I want the maximum value, and there we are. So with this, we can play around and put them into the center or put them in any position you want. Of course, this could be calculated. You can just say calculate whatever would be the position of this value here or that value plus three or four days. But in this case, I'll just skip that for now. But this is basically how you can play around with positioning it in the center. And as we can add up more data sets, it will consistently match along nicely. So if you enjoyed this video, and maybe you want to go, for example, what we have here in dates, maybe you want the specific hours for that, I have a different video here where you can learn how to use the day ticks and hour ticks in the x-axis so you can be more precise with your time scale. So that's also another item that I highly recommend if you're interested in working with the time in the x-scale.